What's up everyone, we have reached Fast 5 as I try to review every Fast and Furious movie and build to F9, so let's review it. Real quick, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and tell me down below in the comments what you think of Fast 5, and this is going to be a spoiler review for the movie, there's not going to be too many spoilers, but just be warned if you haven't seen the movie. Anyways, let's get into it. So this movie pretty much takes place where Fast and Furious left off with Dom getting arrested. It starts off with Brian and Mia rescuing Dom and breaking him out of prison. That's like a really quick scene. Um, and then essentially they have to flee to Brazil because they're wanted by the feds and the police and whatever. Um, so they have to go to Brazil where they have to do one final job to try to gain their freedom. So they have to end up, so they end up having to do a heist in Brazil. Um, so they assemble the whole, a whole cast of characters that we're very much familiar with. Um, all the and they attempt to do this heist on some like rich guy, some some guy I don't remember. Um, and we, all the while being hunted by Dwayne Johnson, who's really this like FBI agent, maybe some sort of some sort of government agent type person. Um, so that's really the plot of the movie. So this is really the second movie in the franchise following Fast and Furious that really goes for the action movie kind of style of movie. But this movie has a lot more action in it where Fast and Furious was tr much more trying to be true to the original form of movies. This one is just all in on the action and it just feels really like its own thing. And it really feels like a modern action movie opposed to a racing movie about cars and you know the love of cars and family and stuff like that this is much more of an action movie though it does have some of the old elements in it first off i think the plot of this movie is really strong which is actually really surprising because that's so far been my biggest complaint with this entire franchise the plot in this movie is really really good especially when you compare it to the previous movies like i said especially some of the more recent ones uh, too fast too furious and fast and furious the plots were really weak the plot is really good here. I, you really can feel the stakes of this plot and this heist. We're, obviously, it's a bit ridiculous at times, and obviously, your money doesn't guarantee you like peace and freedom forever. Um, but you definitely can feel that, like, and you feel this desire, and you feel this all the conflicts within the movie. And there's just really a lot in this plot. That, there's a lot crammed into like two hours or so of this movie, and it's executed very well. It's directed very well. Justin Lin. So far, pretty much with his directing, he's pretty much gotten better with every single movie and just making a better quality of film. And this one is absolutely the best he's done so far and possibly the best in the franchise. Obviously, we'll get to a ranking later on this month. But it's just a really good, strong plot that I'm invested in throughout. I care about what's happening. I understand what's happening. And it just it really flows nicely throughout the movie and evolves nicely. And it's just a really strong plot for this franchise. Probably the best in the franchise when it comes to the story. And along with that, how they use the characters in the plot and the characters in general. Obviously, the characters in this franchise are awesome for the most part. Dom and Brian, who have amazing chemistry together, are good as usual. And so far, it's probably my favorite performance from Vin Diesel. It feels like he actually gives a heartfelt performance or usually he's just like the like, tough guy Vin Diesel the Vin Diesel type stuff but he actually feels like there's more emotion to this performance in this in this movie um, and I actually like to hear it definitely if, but overall this whole movie feels like everyone's trying harder and trying to this movie feels like it knows it's going to be one of the best movies in the franchise and I really like that about it but along with Dom and Brian in this movie brings back a lot of old characters including Han, Roman, and Tiege who are obviously all great and it's really nice to see these characters you know in the movie working with all the other characters also the addition of Dwayne Johnson as the lead kind of lead bad guy not the bad guy but as the lead like FBI agent that's kind of opposite of Dom and Brian he does a really good job here and I really enjoy his character and his character arc in particular with what he's doing once again being opposite of Dom and Brian I really just like I enjoy Dwayne Johnson's got a great screen presence and he just makes a film better when he's when he's in it um, and and once again he also lends himself to some really good action scenes which I'll get to in a little bit but this movie really is, builds a franchise of characters this is really the first movie to do that where these movies have become character vehicles where they're just all about this group of characters and what they're gonna do opposed to being about Dom and Brian and Mia um, this is about character all these guys now and pretty much every movie since we have seen it be about a team of characters not just Dom and Brian but nonetheless the characters in this movie are absolutely amazing and I enjoy them all from start to finish and they just really help this movie and this entire franchise just 
be so much better because you just like these characters and you know what to expect from these characters and the characterization in this franchise has always been the strongest part and I think it absolutely peaks here. Also this movie is extremely entertaining as is pretty much the entire franchise and once again it's, it's very much a mindless movie where you can just sit back and have a good time watching it and that's exactly what I do with these movies. I put them on on the weekend and just enjoy them. They're not you don't have to think too much while you're watching them. The action is everything's just delivered for you and it just makes them so much fun to watch and once again they're just a ton of they're super entertaining and they're just a ton of fun to watch and that's one thing I think why so many people like this franchise is you can just put them on and have a good time um, and this movie absolutely is no exception to that it's just it's a very very mindless and very entertaining and one final note on the positive stuff in this movie I think the action in it is absolutely awesome there's so many good action scenes in here whether you go from the opening car the opening car heist where which is once again a really creative set piece and this franchise doesn't get enough credit for the set pieces they create where they're a bit ridiculous I'll get to the ridiculous stuff in a bit but where they just create these situations where you can feel the tension you can just really thrilled by this action and this franchise doesn't get enough credit for how they create these set pieces once again like the car heist where they got like the trailer next to the train they cut open the train and they're trying to get the cars onto it it's like, completely ridiculous but it's so much fun to watch and it's really creative with how they come up with this stuff but like i said the action's really good also this movie has a lot of action without cars that's something we don't see in this haven't seen this franchise prior but there are a few scenes in this movie where it's just action sequences um, where there's no cars involved particularly the Dwayne and vin diesel um fist fight um, brawl they get into if there's no cars there um, obviously this would be something we would see continue in the future movies once again I think that's welcome once again this move this franchise becomes they have become action movies and I don't mind I don't hate that at all I really think it was a needed change I just because th what they I don't th I think there is room for a franchise that does the whole car car idea you know once in race street racing and that type of stuff this franchise just didn't do it that well um where they just didn't develop anything because Too Fast, Too Furious, and Tokyo Drift don't develop the story at all. So it becoming an action franchise for me didn't ruin the franchise at all. Where Because I don't think there's much franchise prior to that. Because they're just... Once again, there was only two movies in the franchise pretty much. Where Tokyo Drift and Too Fast, Too Furious don't really count as part of the main sequence. So I don't mind that at all. But I, And I really just enjoy the action in this movie. One of the best action movies of the 2010s, to be honest with you. It's, it's a really good action movie with tons of great sequences with like once again and the budget of these movies just keeps going up so you just, they look really good and that really helps this movie i kind of mentioned it my only complaint with this movie is going to be how ridiculous it is there are a number of scenes first of all the plot is just ridiculous with the whole money thing but there are a number of scenes in this movie that just are flat out ridiculous and it kind of pulls you out of the movie a little particularly the end where they're pulling the the um safe or the, the the vault on the highway that's one of the dumbest things i've ever seen it's pretty fun to watch but it is really stupid actually when i was in science class in ninth grade my teacher used that as an example of what physics aren't like because he actually showed that whole scene in the in class because it's just it's completely not realistic so i think the like the ridiculous stuff in this movie pulls it out pulls me out of the movie a little bit while it is welcome in this franchise i think there's just a little too much of it in here um it's not a huge issue it just definitely holds my score back a little bit on this movie and one final minor complaint i really don't like the titles of these movies it seems like every single movie in this franchise has a different does has a different title theme and i think that's kind of annoying um i don't that's i think that's probably what they wanted to do but there's literally no consistency with the title themes the most consistent thing is the fast and the furious and the fast and the furious tokyo drift other than that there's just absolutely no consistency every single movie has a different title too fast too furious fast and furious fast five fast and furious six i mean they're just all different and it's it's really annoying and like um especially the fourth one being called fast and furious that really throws everything off but nonetheless I really enjoyed this movie. It's one of the best movies in the franchise. It's an amazing action movie with a really good story and really good characters. And I just don't have many complaints with it aside from it being ridiculous. But nonetheless, I really had a good time with this movie. It's super entertaining. This movie is really a culmination of everything this franchise does well. Um, there was Unfortunately, there wasn't a ton of racing in here. But like there was one racing scene that was alright. Um, but once again, the action and the characters and the plot, everything in this movie is this franchise at its best. So I'm going to give Fast Five 92%. And 4.5 out of 5 stars. My highest score of the franchise so far. Um, so I just really had a good time with this movie. It's really well made. And it's just, once again, one of the best action movies we've gotten in recent years, in my opinion. 
and all of that while still having great characters and great acting and just a really good directing from Justin Lin. Really a solid movie. Anyways, that's going to do it for my review of Fast Five. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned for my review of Fast and Furious 6. I watched, watched it the other night, so I'm really excited to review that one. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video. If you stuck around to the end, thank you so much for watching as always, and have a great day.